Hey there. So, you guys all probably have seen DeWalt batteries before a million times. I had uh, one that was just like this one, just a little 2 amp hour battery. Um, small capacity, but I really like these small ones for um, the drill and impact. Uh, you know, if you're working on the deck or whatever, got a handful of these, you can uh, swift them up quick. They charge up quick and they're light, so they, the tool doesn't get too heavy. I have some bigger batteries, you know, the 4 and 5 amp hour ones. I'm, you can get, I think I, I think you can get 12 amp hour ones now, but, and they work fine and they're fantastic, obviously, in the right application, but it's pretty heavy. So I had this one, which is the same as the one I was holding up, except different color, 2 amp hour battery. And it worked fine and then it stopped, just suddenly stopped working, wouldn't charge. Um, the charger, no matter what you did, just showed a solid red light, which indicates that the cell is fully charged, but there was no power whatsoever. Uh, so it belonged to a friend of mine, and he, th he was throwing it out. He said, no, no good. Uh, it's past the warranty period, everything. So I said, well, let me take a look. I'm gonna see if I can have it. He said, you can fix it, it's yours. So I thought at the very least, I'd be able to, to salvage a couple of the cells out of it. I uh, didn't fear that it'd all be bad. Um, so I took it apart. And this is what the inside of it looks like. So it is five of the 18650 uh, batteries, which are uh, 3.7 volts uh, nominal and four point something or other, 4.2, I think, uh, fully charged. Uh, incidentally, 18 volt batteries and 20 volt batteries are the same thing. They, it's a marketing thing. One rates them at nominal and one rates them at fully charged but they're the same five cell, 3.7 each. Don't, don't, anyway. Marketing, it sucks. That's what it is though. So, um, so I took it apart to see if I could see anything uh, wonky. Visually, it looked fine, no problems. Um, so I had a, um, a uh, sorry, I have a, a battery charger that'll charge each one of these individually. Uh, so first thing I did is I threw the meter on them and they were all showing, uh, you know, about three volts or so, um, except for the last one, which was showing, uh, and this, this is when it was still in the brackets here, it was showing minus one half volt. So that's clearly where my problem was. So I was able to, even without taking them out of here, uh, the, the four that were fine, I was able to charge them one at a time with my little charger. It's just a little USB charger that charges um, these type of cells uh, slowly, but it works well. Um, but no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to do anything with this uh, last one. So I ended up taking it out of the assembly, so unsoldered the ends and took it out. So just now it's a cell by itself. And once I got it out like this, uh, I was able to put the tester on it and it's showing zero volts. So the minus a uh, half volt that I was showing uh, just had something to do with the hookup in here. Uh, as you can see, there's wires going back and forth all over the place. Um, I'm not sure, sh you can Google this if you want, but I'm pretty sure that these uh, center ones, you can kind of test each one of these cells individually. I didn't bother looking into that because I knew it was pretty o easy to open. I don't know if they're all this easy, but this one actually had just screws on it, so it was really easy to open up. Anyway, backtracking. So. Uh, this one was showing zero, uh, I infinite resistance, zero volts, uh, something clearly very wrong with it. So I'd never had that happen with one of these, uh, but it actually turns out after a bit of Googling, it's a fairly common thing. Um, the cell itself turned out to be just fine. Um, and what it has is a protection on the positive end uh, called a CID. Sorry, I forget what that stands for. Um, but basically what it is, is underneath of this cap, there's another cap that is a uh, kind of a safety pop on it. So my friend must have ran this too hard or something and it, it popped the safety on this. It can happen if you take too much current out of one. I've never heard of it happening in a uh, tool battery like this. That's what the electronics are supposed to prevent, but it, uh, it did. Um, so this, it's a mechanical uh, device and it's pretty easy to reset. Um, there's all kinds of warnings about doing this. Uh, you know, if, if you know why I did it or if the cell had a problem, you know, you could, you could, I don't, I don't know. It's there for a reason, I guess, but, uh, you know, I'm a weekend garage guy. 
this is what we do. Anyway, so I, uh, wh what you do is, and I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera well enough, but we'll give it a try here. So this cap has four little holes around it. Um, and underneath of that is the other cap. So all I did was I took something uh, that fit in there and you push the other cap down. You, you'll hear it when it goes down or you'll feel it, it goes thunk. And uh, that's it. I, I know it sounds overly simple, but it basically resets that little uh, thing. I don't know if it will work again as a safety device. Um, I didn't really look into it any more than that, but it, it works. And once I did that, uh, I threw the, uh, the meter on it again. And again, it was showing three volts, just like the other ones. Uh, so I threw the charger on it, fully charged it. Uh, fully charged each one of these individually and uh, now I'm going to try it. So I actually, before I did this video, I should have tried this, but I didn't. Um, so, let's grab a, uh, grab my drill here and let's see. So I'm just going to, as you can see, I un unsoldered at the ends of this, so I'm going to have to solder it back in to do this properly. But for now, I'm going to see if I can just get it to touch like that. I think that'll work. Uh, hopefully that's enough electrical connection. And let's see. Haha! <laughs> it does work. I really wasn't sure if that was going to work or not before I tried it. All right. That is fantastic. Okay. I am going to uh, just resolder this and uh, put it back together and call it a day. Um, I did try, um, if you found this video, you've probably found some other ones that talk about the uh, kind of jump starting the battery. Uh, I've seen that done before and I've seen the videos for it. Um, this was the first time I've ever had a chance to try it. It did nothing on this one. Um, and once I found the reason, it made sense. Uh, this is a physical barrier to any electricity going through, so Jumpstart is not going to work any more than anything else. So I suspect that method will work fine if your battery is just run down too far. Uh, so this is if you try the Jumpstart and it doesn't work, if you uh, take it apart and put the meter on, you've got one or more that are really not giving you proper readings. Um, this is kind of the, the next stage is you're checking the, uh, the, uh, the CID to make sure it hasn't popped. Um, save your batteries and enjoy your tools. All right, please don't forget to subscribe. I need subscribers. Thanks guys.